Yeah, hey Marky, Coach Record here. Just uh, kind of watched this video clip from the other day because it had some stuff that we were talking about. So what we got here is we got you coming back on the back check, and you're doing a nice job. Rule of thumb on the back check is you're always funneling and coming back through the middle of the ice. Now, we're going to continue this a little bit more, and we're going to get you right here. Now, you're the right wing, and this is your spot right here. you got to take the middle of the ice away. But what we're going to see is instead of staying in the middle of the ice, you're going to do a little bit of public skating, and you're going to skate out here, and then you're going to skate around and come over here. So let's clear this and take a look at it. So here you go. So the minute you come over here, guess what? This area is vacant, and that's the most dangerous area on the ice. So you kind of make a big loop coming around. Now, check out this guy right here. He's going to get set right here. He's going to start looking for this area because that's where you score goals from. So you keep on going. You're skating through. You're skating through. Now, you're the right wing, but you're over here, and you already got one of your guys already there. So you get two guys on that one guy. And it kind of goes out of the camera, but you can tell that guess what our buddy over here has no one covering him so the play kind of gets the blue line looks like it got broken up as we look at this guy right over here we can kind of tell he's coming out and then boom he's right back in so the play goes back in he's going to go for four check and then here you come over here so what's going to happen is you got a great opportunity as you come across him just to pick him a little bit and hold him up and you get right in his skating lane and you could have really just slowed down so you identify that this guy has the puck and if you just slow down right here then he's either got to go you know on one side or the other side of you so you're going to come across so here you come and you do a real nice job despite the fact that you never put your stick on the ice you do a real nice job pivoting and here we go, we're going to pivot make yourself an option for the pass now we're going to take out, uh, take a look at this guy right over here he's going to end up banging the puck in along the wall, we could hardly see it Okay, so anyway he's going to throw that puck in deep and then we're going to watch you over here, that puck gets back in and then we're going to pick you up and right over here and watch what you're going to do take a loop and come back well the whole time you're taking this loop guess what he could hypothetically you know get a pass or drive the net or do something and you're already behind your guy so the rule of thumb is always when we did those cone drills remember those cone drills <laughs> where we put three cones like this stops and starts so here you come you come back in the zone okay and then what we don't want to do is we don't want to get fixated with our eyes down there. We like to position ourselves where we're in a line between this guy and the net. Uh, in essence, the shooting lane. So you should be a little bit more out this way, and you should have a head on a swivel, so you're kind of watching him. So now the play is going to progress. Once again, we don't want to go down there. Okay? Because right now, you got to be thinking, when that play is on this side, and the play is on this side, so let's say we had our comp set up, you know, this guy actually becomes our responsibility. So we're going to watch that play continue. It's going to go over. And here you go. Guess what? Once again, where's the danger area? It's the slot area. And you're heading off this way. So this guy now slides into position uncovered. So what you're going to do here is you're going to kind of do a curl and I think you got a little figure eight action going on coming up here. So you're over here. Now you've got your head turned towards the uh, away from play. Now you're going to curl back. Alright. And curl again. Check out the whole time. That stick is always up and not down. So you want to think positioning, you want to think stops and starts, you want to think stick on the ice and your responsibilities in the defensive zone. Good luck, Marky.